She's a native Angelino who grew up in Watts with a heart to serve. And as part of our Black History Month coverage, I sat down with Deputy Chief Imada Tingridis, who made history at the LAPD. And she could do it again. I saw what gangs and drugs did to my community. L.A. erupted in anger and frustration in 1992 after the acquittal of four police officers caught on videotape savagely beating Rodney King. A young Imada Tingridis was in her South L.A. home watching the violence unfold with fear and concern. That moment in time would change her life. I found myself wanting to be part of a solution as it relates to addressing some of the criminal activity that was happening in our community. Tingridis made the decision to follow in her grandmother's footsteps, a sheriff's deputy who was supportive of her career choice. She always told me, you have to be strong and be relentless and serve with your heart. Three years later, she began her now 29-year career with LAPD. Many times, she found herself the only black person and woman in the room. I could remember graduating the police academy and being told I was going to be sent to West Los Angeles to help have more diversity. Now she is one of the highest ranking women and African Americans in the department. When I joined LAPD, I knew that I was going to come back and make a difference in my community. In 2011, Tingridi's got her chance to give back to her neighborhood. Watts had long been synonymous with gangs and violent crime. We had had some pretty hellacious incidents in crime going on in our public housing developments from shootings to sexual assaults to murders. Amada and her husband, Phil, now a retired LAPD deputy chief, with the support of then Chief Charlie Beck and civil rights attorney Connie Rice, were among those who started the community policing program known as the Community Safety Partnership, or CSP. And really began to set a path to change how the community felt about law enforcement. CSP officers patrol on foot and are, among other things, expected to dedicate at least five years to a single neighborhood where they work to foster goodwill within the community while reducing the influence of gangs. The culture shift is getting officers to understand the history and the culture of the communities that they're working in. And when you provide them the tools and the knowledge, then they're going to be successful as they go about policing and serving. The success of the program led to a historic promotion. Promoting within the LAPD, you're not given a promotion. You work hard and you earn it. Tingridis went from captain to deputy chief, skipping the commander rank. This was only the second time in the history of the LAPD that this has been achieved and the first time it was achieved by a woman. And there is speculation that Tingridis might make history yet again. First of all, you know about the chatter. Um, there is a possibility that you, be you could become the next chief of police for LAPD. So what do you think about that possibility? I am extremely humbled by the community sentiment and in reflecting on my almost three decades of service in this city. Um, what I know is that I am LA and I love the city of Los Angeles. Well, Tingridis tells us that CSP continues to be a success and says there hasn't been any shootings involving a CSP officer in 13 years.